Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kristen, and I am the Education Director here at Sea Turtle, Inc. So we wanted to go ahead and share with you guys one of our favorite turtles here at our facility and my favorite turtle here at Sea Turtle, Inc. And that resident turtle's name is Fred. So I see some people hopping on. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us this afternoon. Go ahead and type into the comments where you guys are tuning in from. A little bit of background about Sea Turtle Inc. for those of you that are not familiar, is we are a nonprofit sea turtle hospital in South Padre Island, Texas. And we do have a three-tier mission. We work towards education, educating the public with videos just like this one. We also rescue and rehabilitate sick and injured sea turtles from out in the wild so we can release them once they are healthy and then we work towards conservation efforts for all marine turtle species so I'm really excited that you guys are here and you're ready to learn all about Fred our resident now Fred is underneath me right now swimming along in his tank um, and I'm gonna show you guys him in a second but I do want to tell you his story now we are a sea turtle hospital like I said so we get a lot of patients that are coming to our facility to get treated for their injuries um, but the the building that I'm standing in right now is our education center and on this side all of our resident turtles that are lived that live here full-time are housed in this area so I'll kind of pan around so you guys can see I am standing on top of Fred's tank so this is not the normal view that you would get if you came to visit our facility in person now Fred is a loggerhead sea turtle and the way that you can identify his species one really awesome trait that is really noticeable when you first look at them is the size of their head. They have really massive heads, really powerful jaws. This species can actually bite down as hard as an American alligator. Now, why do they need those strong jaws? Things that they eat out in the wild include clams and mussels. They'll eat sea urchins. They'll eat stingray. They're pretty opportunistic. They'll go after crabs. They'll eat just about everything. But their favorite food are clams and mussels. And those powerful jaws allow them to bite through those thick shells and get to the meat on the inside. Now, to tell you a little bit about Fred's story, um, he did wash up on the beach in the early 90s on the upper Texas coast. So not here in South Padre Island, but actually around Port Aransas. So about three, four hours north from here and he washed up he was entangled in fishing line now Fred was entangled so tightly that the facilities up in that area were not able to save his flipper so he did have a flipper amputation which will you guys will notice whenever I show you what he's doing right now um, so typically turtles that lose one flipper they are able to get released back out into the wild and Fred did get released but he was having a lot of issues. So he actually stranded two more times after that. And at that point, it was deemed that Fred was non-releasable. So we actually adopted Fred back in December of 1999, and he has been here ever since calling Sea Turtle Inc. home. Now, I said he was my favorite resident that we have here at our facility. So I'm gonna spin my camera around so you can see what Fred is up to right now. He is actually going for a little swim. Now, Fred is an adult male loggerhead sea turtle. And the way that you guys can tell this is by looking at that big tail. When sea turtles are adults, males will have tails that are very long and females will have tails that are very short. Now you guys will notice that Fred is swimming into the side of his tank. Um, often he is seen doing that quite frequently and a lot of people ask why. Since he is missing that flipper there on the front left, it does make it hard for him to swim. All of our tanks also have current, so he is actually swimming against the current right now. Um, and that is one of the reasons why he stranded so many times on the beach. Fred also has issues with his eyesight. So if he does come up to the platform that I'm standing on, you guys will notice that his eyes are very bulgy. That is not typical for loggerhead sea turtles. He does have issues seeing. He also struggles to get food off of the bottom of his tank. So if you guys did 
see our reminder post from earlier today, we posted a video of us tong feeding Fred. We actually have to feed him by hand every single day to make sure he's eating all of his food. Now, what do we feed them here at our facility? All of our turtles get a mixture of seafood. So that would be mackerel, which is a type of fish, um, squid, as well as shrimp. And the video that you guys saw earlier was Fred eating his favorite food, which, which is actually squid. Now, one thing that Fred really likes, and I'm gonna see if I can show you guys this, is getting his back scratched. Now, sea turtles do have feeling in their shell. Does anybody know what turtle shells are made out of? If you guys do know, go ahead and type that into the comments. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you this brush that we use for Fred. Now you guys will see these little bristles here at the end. And that is what I'm gonna get his attention with. Now we do not do this with the patients in our hospital. Fred is a resident sea turtle here, so he will live here for the rest of his life. Our patients, we do not want to enrich in the way that I'm about to with Fred, because we want to make sure that they maintain those wild qualities so they can get released in the future. I see a lot of you commenting that you really love Fred. He is one of my favorite turtles as well. So if you guys are wondering what a sea turtle shell is made out of it is two layers the top layer is a layer of keratin that is what your fingernails are made out of as well and then underneath that is a layer of bone so if you guys imagine getting an itch on your back and you can't reach it with your arms you might have to go up against a wall to scratch that's what sea turtles do as well so you guys will notice this big white platform that's underneath me that is what we call a back scratcher it's just white PVC pipe and and Fred, along with all of our other turtles, will use those to scratch their shell. They also use them as a place to rest, so we often see Fred sleeping underneath his back scratcher. Awesome, I see Tom from Rockwell. We miss you, and I see some people from Montana. I used to live, I'm excited that you guys are able to hang out with us this afternoon, as well as all of you that are watching right now. <laughs> so you guys see Fred lifting his head above the top of the water. Sea turtles have lungs just like we do, so they do have to come up to the surface to breathe. And every time he pops his head above the water, he is taking a big breath. <laughs> now he's turning around, going back towards the wall. Let's give him a few more back scratches. If you guys do have any questions about Fred, feel free to type them into the comments and I will answer them as I see them come up. I'm glad you guys think Fred is cute because he is my absolute favorite resident here at Sea Turtle Inc. <laughs> we have some people watching from Kentucky. I'm so excited that y'all are here. And Denver, awesome. <laughs> Now, you guys notice that Fred is up against the wall. Keep in mind that these turtles are wild animals. So even though I am filming this Facebook Live for you guys right now, that does not mean that these turtles always do what we want them to do. Um, so I have a question coming in for how old he is. We don't know his exact age, um, but we estimate that Fred is in his mid 30s. And then I also saw a question, where is this being filmed? So I am actually standing on top of Fred's tank and this is in our education center. So I'll pan around again. You guys will see all of our resident tanks here. We have Jerry, Hang 10, Merry Christmas, and Allison. Another question coming in, we have had Fred since December of 1999. We have some locals tuning in from Wessico. I'm excited that y'all are here and people from Pennsylvania. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. If you guys do have questions about Fred, feel free to type them into the comment bar. <laughs> a 
Why don't they live together? That is a really good question. A lot of people do ask that when they come to our facility because we do put multiple turtles in tanks in our hospital and all of our residents are in tanks on their own. Now, sea turtles are very solitary out in the wild, so they don't travel in pods like dolphins or schools like fish, so I apologize, guys. Finding Nemo wasn't exactly accurate with Crush and Squirt. Um, they are solitary, like I said, so they're pretty much on their own. They will come together during mating season and they will also come together at foraging grounds um, so we have introduced other turtles to Fred's tank in the past and he is one of our more territorial residents that we have um, he likes his space he wants to keep it that way so because of that we have him in a tank on his own um, if it gets to the point where we do have more residents here at our facility we can introduce other turtles to the tank we do just need to monitor them to make sure that our existing re residents are comfortable having other turtles in the tank with them some other questions let me see was Fred injured? Is he a permanent resident? Yes, he is a permanent resident. And if you guys look closely, you will see that he is missing that left flipper there in the front. He was actually entangled in fishing line and that is how he ended up losing his flipper. How old do turtles typically live for? So sea turtles have about a human lifespan. So 60 to about 80 years, give or take. How big will Fred get? So that is a really good question. Now you guys are looking at Fred right now. Does anyone have any guesses as to how much Fred weighs? If you do, go ahead and type those guesses into the comment box. And I will go ahead and come back to that question here in a second. Is Fred able to mate? That is a really good question. Sea turtles are endangered species. So here in the US, it is actually illegal to breed them in captivity. So while he is here with us, which will be for the remainder of his life, no, he will not be bred. We do not breed sea turtles here at Sea Turtle Inc. And no, Fred will not be released. He lives here full time. Now, if you guys, I see some guesses coming in for how much Fred weighs. And one comment was from Holly. She guessed that Fred weighs 200 pounds. Fred actually weighs 220. He is one of our biggest turtles that we have here at Sea Turtle Inc. Let's see. Are the tanks large enough for them to be well? That is a good question. And yes, we try and put the turtles with as much space as we can to give them um, a comfortable life while they're here at our facility. We have added, if you guys look, you'll see substrate and rocks and all kinds of fish swimming around in these tanks. Whenever we did open this building two years ago, our goal was to provide our residents a more aquarium style environment where their tanks were a more natural habitat. So that is why we have added all of these things to their tank and I think the residents are liking them quite a lot. When will you be open to the public again? That is a very good question. And that is something that is up in the air at this time with everything that is going on with COVID-19. There are no definitive dates that I can give you as to when we open, but when we do, we hope that all of you are able to come and visit us in person. And what kind of fish are in the tanks? That's a really good question. You guys will see all these big fish swimming around here. Um, in all of our tanks, we do have a mixture of mullet. We also have black drum and red fish. So the fish that are swimming down there, the two large ones, those are black drum. All these little guys that are here at the top are mullet. And then we also have a pinfish. I believe that's what that is. That's swimming under Fred's back scratcher right now. <laughs> So full grown loggerhead sea turtles, I mentioned he was 220 pounds. Um, their sizes do vary, but they can get to be up to 400 pounds. And Valerie asked if they eat squid, and we do feed the squid, uh, squid to our turtles here at Sea Turtle Inc. That is actually Fred's favorite food. One question coming in, how can they breathe when they sleep? Do they sleep in the water? And that is a really good question as well. So whenever sea turtles are sleeping, they will actually hold their breath. So they'll come up to the surface, take a big breath of air, and then they'll dive back down. Now, Fred, being as large as he is, can actually hold his breath for a very long period of time. There was a study done of adult loggerhead sea turtles in captivity, and the record-breaking breath hold for a loggerhead sea turtle was 12 hours. 
so that's pretty crazy. Um, Fred, he can hold his breath for quite a while too. On average, it's about six to eight hours. My mom just popped on. Hi, mom. <laughs> and I see a question from Josiah. Do the males have longer tails? Yes, they do. That is the one way to identify um, the sex of a sea turtle when they are adults is by looking at that tail. Now, you guys have probably seen a lot of our videos of our patients over in the hospital. They are not adults yet, so it probably looked like they did not even have tails. They do, um, but they're just not at that point where their tail would be longer if it was a male. Oh, that's a very good question from Melissa. Is the water um, that are in, is in our tanks, is that water straight from our ocean? That is a good question. Now, you guys can't see this, but right behind our amphitheater here, we actually have our lagoon, and it is a saltwater lagoon, and that is what we use to fill all of our tanks. So if I'll pan over here really quickly, you guys will see these big silos here. That is actually a massive filtration system. So we will pull that water from the lagoon, filter it really well so it doesn't have any bacteria, and that is what we use to fill our tanks. So all of our tanks are saltwater. Is Fred stuck against the wall since he is missing his flipper? That is a good question. Um, so Fred is actually just swimming in that direction. There is a current in his tank. Um, one thing that he was, he was part of a study a few years ago and they noticed uh, different organizations, ours included, noticed that during certain times of year, turtles would swim against the same side of the tank over and over like you guys see with Fred. They would go through phases where the turtles wouldn't eat and the theory was that potentially that could be the direction he would be traveling if he was still out in the ocean migrating. Um, that has not been proven yet, but that was the theory at the time of the study. And uh, I don't believe we've heard the results back from that yet. I see a question coming in. How do I get your job from Susie? Um, that is a good question. So all of our staff here at Sea Turtle Inc. have some sort of background in biology. I myself, I went to Texas State University in San Marcos and I studied wildlife biology. I did a lot of volunteer work and internships before I landed this position full time. We do have an internship program. Um, so if you guys are college graduates, it is closed for this summer, but next summer that might be something you guys are interested in. All the information can be found on our website. And how many turtles do we have here? On our resident side, which is what I'm standing on right now, um, we do have five residents and the number of patients in our hospital varies. Uh, we did just release a bunch of turtles, so I believe we are up to mm, 10 patients in our hospital. We just got two new ones in not too long ago, um, so that number might be a little bit off. All right. Yeah, I see Alejandra saying that hopefully they will get to come visit Fred in July. I hope you guys are able to make it as well. So we're going to let Fred continue swimming in his tank. I'm going to spin my camera back around so you guys can see me one more time. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this afternoon. We hope you enjoyed learning about Fred. If you guys do want to support Fred, one way that you can do that is through our resident adoption program. And all of that money does get put into the care of our turtles here at Sea Turtle Inc. And you guys would get a little fun swag bag that gets sent to your mailbox too. So that might be something fun for you guys to do as well. Uh, thank you guys so much. We will We'll be doing our next Facebook Live in two days. So that would be on Monday at one o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. We will post reminders though um, to keep you guys informed. If you haven't already, like our Facebook page so you guys can keep seeing these awesome videos that we're doing and get any updates that we have. We hope everybody is staying safe and healthy and we hope that you guys have an awesome rest of your Saturday. Bye guys.